Hey guys, I thought I was done for the evening, and then as soon as I was about to go lay it down, this headline pops up that Brandon Hunter's dead at the age of 42, and here we are on our monthly kill date, and we've got another black man that's dead at the age of 42 on the kill date. Guys, if you're new here, I'm teaching gematria, which is the practice of coding letters into numbers. 42 is a huge number with black history. And when you learn that pattern, you're going to see, you know, why Jackie Robinson won 42, why Martin lived in a, apartment 42. Like, there is patterns behind these rituals that they do to us, just like how this dude is dead now on the kill date. And by the kill date, I mean each month, guys, you get the word kill. So if you're writing it down, I'm teaching gematria. So let's practice the coding letters and the numbers. A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3. Kill is going to equal 44. If you take the alphabet in reverse, it's going to equal 64. Now, if you reduce those two values down, meaning the 11th letter is 1 plus 1 is 2, the 15th letter, 5 plus 1 is 6. Reverse the alphabet, do it again. So kill is going to equal 44, 17, 64, 28. When you add up your date numerology, each month, you're going to get that same date numerology. You're going to get a 64, a 28, a 44, a 17. You're going to get at least three of those four numbers, if not all four. Today we have all four. So here we go. We've got him dead, right? He's dead at the age of 42. We know that's huge with black history. Slavery equals 42. Jackie is 42. Tuskegee is 42. Malcolm X, 42. Martin's 42. Lived in apartment, 42. Cosby Show's 42. Huxtable's 42. February, the shortest month, is 42. The N-word is 42. Racial slur is 42. There's so much with 42, guys. So now they've got the, another black man that they have killed off by the numbers at the age of 42. He's dead 42 days before the next damn season. So he plays in the M NBA, a black man. Now he's dead at age 42, 42 days before the season opener on October 24th. Sick, man. It's also a span of 43 days. So that's Masonic, Lucifer, and Killing. That's another number we talk about all the time with murders. And look, if you write out his name, you get the 64 for the kill. NBA 1764, just like those date numerologies, just like the kill date. He fit that pattern. His number was up. But now watch this. So if you write out his name and ritual sacrifice, you get the 154. Well, ritual sacrifice is also 73, just like if you write out sacrifice, it's 73. This dude's dead 73 days from his birthday, or a span of 74. Same numbers. We just went over the 43 with killing Lucifer Masonic. So he's dead 43 days before the upcoming season. And now he's dead 74 days span from his birthday. Or a span of 70 or just 73 days. Lining up with all those numbers we talk about with sacrifices. 74 days from his birthday. And in the article they talk about he played 67 games and his career high was 17 points those are kill numbers 17 that date numerology 67 is blood and human sacrifice kill 17 just straight mockery man NBA 17 they also tell us that he was the 56th overall pick in the 2003 NBA draft so tell me if this dude's marked, y'all. He's the 56th player picked in the 2003rd NBA draft. Seventy-nine, thirty-four, fifty-six, murder, one eighty-seven, and a seventy-nine. He wears thirty-four. He's the 56th player in that draft to be drafted. Can you guess how many days it is from his draft anniversary? 79 days from his draft anniversary and he actually drafted on the 177th day of the year and he took that mark he sold his soul so he drafted on june 26th he's dead on september 12th 79 days later from that anniversary 
wearing number 34. He was the 56th pick. Now he's dead. There he is. And you know the NBA was founded on June 6th. And he's dead 98 days from their anniversary. So, another one to add to the black history rituals of 42. And another one to mark down on the kill date. So, this is the third. We had two football players and a basketball player in the headlines in the last two days. All killed in the same numeric patterns. But guys, I'll catch you on the next one.